say that um, in many cases, it's equally, if not more important for the smaller companies to get their protection because the larger companies can use their size and strength and money to, um, to, to pressure some of these smaller companies. And as long as they have their registration rights in place, it's much harder for the larger companies to come in and, and, and kind of throw their power around. Um, we are working on a case right now where we're representing a smaller company um, and trying to get them a trademark application. And even though the fact that the trademark examiner has allowed our application to proceed towards a notice of allowance, during the opposition phase of the trademark application, we've had a larger company now come in and try to overexert their rights. Uh, Lucian's working on this case right now, and maybe you can talk a little bit about um, what some of their strategies are versus our strategies as a smaller company. Well, first, every small company owner has a dream. They want to be a big company one day. And so it's really important to protect everything you have and everything you develop from the beginning because you don't want to get to a place where a year, five years, 10 years down the line, then you encounter a problem and everything is much more entrenched and the big company might be trying to squash you even harder. Um, so it's important to think about these things early because you'll save yourself money and time in the end. It's also really important because as a little company, maybe one day you want to sell yourself to the big company. And that big company is going to say, well, what do you have? And you say, well, I have my inventory. I have my ideas. And they say, well, what ideas do you have? Do you have a trademark? Do you have a patent on your devices? So what are you really selling? And so that's something a small company owner has to think about at the very beginning. Yeah, that's an important point um, for small companies that are looking to get funding uh, to kind of get to the next step and grow their business. Uh, most of the funders will look to an IP portfolio. If you don't have one, you're going to find that funding is going to become much more difficult to obtain. If you have a, a growing IP portfolio that you've invested time and money in, um, I think they, they look at that um, very positively. And we found that our clients who have those portfolios early um, have better chances uh, of success in getting funding down the road.